Yo guys and girls and welcome back to another episode, the final episode of the season for the Plymouth Argyle career mode as we march to the Premier League. Are we marching? I guess that is the real question. It's been a real up and down season. Right, let's have a little look on this final day at a flashback and find out where we are. So we have come back today for the Port Vale game, which is the final game of the season. We finished second in the league, 19 points currently ahead of Bolton. But still 12 points behind Ipswich, who who actually finished with 112 points, which is the most points in the entire country. So does that make Ipswich the best team? Mm, I guess the, the future will tell. When it comes to kind of end of season individual awards so far, uh, we've had Schmitty, top of the goal scoring charts with 28. But he's only one in front of Johnson Clark Harris, who... Might be very interesting for next season. If I can't loan Schmitty back, I might be interested in 39 games, 20, 27 goals. I might see if he could do a job for me in the championship next year, if I can persuade to get him in. Most shots, I've had the most assists from Tariq Wright at 18. Most intense sprints by Saxon Early. We have been top of most of the most of the player charts this season, which I'm I'm quite happy with, despite the fact that Ipswich were looking pretty unstoppable. So going into next season, the board has given us so we'll be going into the championship, and the board has given us five point seven six million. <laughs> so next season's gonna be tough, but I'm super excited to find out. How we can wheel and deal it, bring in a few free transfers, bring in some bits and bobs. Uh, make sure that we can compete at least, I think is the aim. So I think we will do the last game of the season against Port Vale here. Hopefully bag the win. And we will look to come back, do like a big proper maybe in-depth roundup where we look at everything. And then also maybe do like an hour stream, big stream for some transfers, a big live stream. And I'll just put the full live up. Um, for, for our transfer special for the next episode. So, for the final game of the season, I'm going to try and play the best team that I can because a lot of these players, or some of these players, are going to be returning to their parent clubs. And next season, I might not get to see them. And I think we will go with that for our starting eleven. So we've got Cooper and Go, Mamba, Collins, Atkinson, Galloway, Miete, Callum Wright, Tariq Wright on the, left, on the right <laughs> so many rights. Whitaker, Ennis, and we'll start with a slightly injured Schmitty, but he's got he's got he's got he's got the flu. So away at Port Vale we go on the final day of the season with promotion in the bag, but a very tense and tough transfer window coming up. Let's give the fans the appropriate send off at the end of the season. Good luck, boys. Let's do this. I can't remember how our previous game against Port Vale went. <clears throat> it's an empty stadium. I'm going to look to loan back a couple of players next season, obviously. Oh, and Tariq Wright makes it 1-0. Is it going to count? It looks like it's going to count inside of two minutes. Oh, I love this Argyle kit. This is I feel like this is the first time we've used this all season. It's a dark. I do absolutely love that kit. It's stunning. Puma makes some nice kits. But that Argyle third kit, I think that's our third kit, is stunning. So 26 minutes in. It's quite a dull game, really. One highlight, one goal. Okay, second highlight. Whitaker from the left with a free kick. Oh, Stevens does well to gather. It looks like the highlight will continue. Oh, as Galloway's just let it rock off the back of his head. Oh, Ennis into Tariq right again. Unlucky. I think it was offside anyway. But no, no, that went out for a goal kick. So that does make it game set and match. Atkinson sends it long. Whitaker, Schmitty. Galloway to Ennis. Oh, it was unlucky. It's 
It's a nice football by our goal. Ennis, oh, that is a fantastic goal. And Morgan Whitaker steps up to claim his 18th of the season. And that is some great football by Plymouth Argyle. I am happy with that. There you go. I'm going to give him the old, you're doing well, but I believe you can take charge of this match. <laughs> Even though we're kind of, we are, we, we've got it by the, by the scruff of his neck. If Ipswich are losing, I'm just not going to be really... I'm not going to be happy about it. No, no, they're not. They're winning, of course they are. 115 points for Ipswich. 103 for me. Bloody hell. What a season. Twenty minutes to go. Make a few subs. Thank you, Shimetti. It's been a lovely year having you here. Fitness us and get one last run out in an Argyle shirt. He's been really good this season. Oh, here we go. Stevens with the goal kick for Port Vale. Oh, Whitaker manages to win it as he picks it back up and he slots it in. For his nineteenth of the season, he's been he was a he's been it was a good signing. Has he actually won it in midfield and just carried on? First touch was great. And slots it under the keeper. Come on. To make it 3 0. A convincing win for the end of the season. The cot tried to squeeze one through. Anderson does well. What? Oh, that hit the cut. What? What? That counts as well. Did any. What? So Robinson has literally tried one, which is cannon back off the post, and Harrison has followed up for the rebound. Wow. I, I wish the initial effort went in, if I'm honest with you. What a wonder goal that would have been. By S. Robinson. What's he called? Sammy Robinson. God knows what it was. But it caused all sorts in the back. Cooper didn't know what to do. But it's one shot, one goal as well, which bugs the sh that bugs me. That does. So there we are, guys and gals. That is the end of the very first season. As we managed to secure second place, which, without winning the Papa John's trophy, I feel a bit disappointed with. If we got second and the trophy, I would have been a bit more happier. You finished runners up in that and that trophy to Ipswich, who were just fantastic all season. God knows how they. Managed to maintain that form and, and play so well. So we will be back with a big long transfer special. I think I'll just kind of record most of the transfer window between now and the first friendly. And we will look to be back to improve the squad, make us a bit better. And hopefully find a way to survive in the championship next season. Let's have a little look before we do go. Who is coming down? So you've got Swansea, Blackpool and Rotherham. They're all coming down. So I will have a little look at their players as well to find out if there are any players we can maybe nab, steal and, and take off of them because that would be fantastic if we could. And we will see you in the next episode for a super long transfer window special. 
Thank you very much for watching this season. Thank you very much for sticking around. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I've got a real affinity to this squad now, and I'm going to try to keep a couple of the, of the better players on loan for sure. But we will be back very soon, so thank you very much for sticking with me for this entire season. We're over on Twitch live streaming most of this, so please get over to Twitch and have a look. Cozyplays.fm. Please go over and check it out and um, join us live because we're over there most of the time, really. But we will put on a super duper long transfer window special, even if it's like eight hours long. It'll be up. It'll be up live stream all of it. We'll do the entire thing. Just post it up live, isn't it? So I look forward to seeing you all very very soon. Comment, like, subscribe, all the rest of the guff. Much love from me. Peace.